the handle assembly comes fully assembled and it doesn't require any adjustments. It's preset so that when the lock position the end is fully seated. There's no tension on the cable, no tension on the end. That's where it needs to be. All the adjustment will be made at the tunnel hall when we get to the cable installation. And the cable you can slide between the, <clears throat> the flotation uh, tank and the hull. Just like the factory did on the uh, on the opposite side for the steering cable and that gives the same place. Uh, you can stick it through the, the pull start cord but it puts a little bit of a twist to it. But you're gonna slide the cable on into the engine area. Just slide it in until you have it somewhere you know, behind the brace area is fine. And you can just let it rest for the moment. Install the grate with the supplied screws. And tighten them down. This is the alignment tool to mark your drill location for the cable mounting hole. What you'll do is hold the, the tool in close to a parallel position to the top of the intake tunnel and you'll just push until it meets the hull. Get it where it's nice and even and push the grate. If you'd like you can take a hammer and tap on the back of that. That will leave a dent and that is where you will drill your hole. This ensures that the cable and the pivot pin are lined up for accurate placement. Now that the hole is drilled, we can install the handle assembly and move up to the top. All right, you wanna screw the, the nut about halfway up, put the washer on there, and just slide it through the hole you made in the hole, and just let it sit. We're gonna go down, and we're gonna install the grate. Well, we're going to install the cable to the grate and adjust the closed position of the handle. Don't worry about sealant yet. We're going to uh, come back and do that later. Right now we're just doing adjustment. Now this is the closed position of the handle. And if you remember, the handle is in the locked position initially. So go unlock the handle and open it all the way in the open position. Take the grate and slide the engagement pin. Engage the pin to the cable. Use your Phillips head screwdriver and just loosely just snug it up. You don't need to tighten it. We're going to take it back apart again in a little bit. Just snug. All right, now I'll go up and put the control handle back into the locked closed position. Now that the cable is in the closed position, you want to come back up to the top and you want to gently pull on the cable until you feel it stop, as in you're feeling the grate bottom out. When the grate bottoms out, to turn the nut down to where it meets the hull and stop. You don't want to go any farther than that. You don't want the cable to be putting tension against itself. You just want the grate to be bottomed out. Now that you have the cable adjusted properly, you can go back underneath, disconnect, disconnect it from the grate, and we can pull it back out. And this is when you would 
use some some sealant, some polyurethane or silicone, whatever you uh, prefer. 3M5200 works good too, but that's when you would uh, do that. Now you can come back and we have the cable adjusted, we have the sealant, and we can go ahead and put the nut on. I don't use the washer on the bottom, there isn't a lot of room, so I have more room for threads without the washer. It isn't really needed. Now we can lift a grate and engage the pin once again. Now you can tighten it up too. And this part of the installation is complete. Once your cable is installed and adjusted, if you notice that the angle is slightly off, what you can do is take a propane torch from inside and very, very carefully heat the plastic around the cable. Now that it's tied off in an aligned position, you take a propane torch and just very slowly give a good inch and a half, two inch radius. You don't want to get the plastic hot enough where the nut is tightened up to cause a problem. You just want to slowly heat the hull so that all the tension that that string is putting on the cable is allowing the hull to shift just a little bit. That lets that cable become in a more natural position with that pivot pin. This will probably take two or three minutes of slowly heating it up. Like I said, you don't want to melt it, you just want to get it warm enough to allow it to shift so that when it cools it will retain that shape. If you don't get it hot enough, it won't actually shift. So take your time, let it heat up. Just don't get crazy with it. Once you start to see a little bit of a, a warp, a shift in position, walk away, let it cool down. And when you come back, you'll find your cable is in perfect alignment with the pin geometry. Now we can finally get the holes marked and drilled for the uh, handle assembly and get that finished up. Take the template, drop that over the, the rod holder, and you can take and line up the head to the brace bolt. Once you have those centered, take and hold it, and with a nail or something similar, center punch, take and on each dot push in to transfer that hole to the hull. Put a little dent in it, like a center punch. And you can come back through with the appropriate drill and drill for the holes. Alright, now we have the holes drilled. And uh, I'll use the countersink to sink them in a little bit. You can, uh, Take a slightly larger drill bit, <coughs> or a larger drill bit, and kind of do something similar. Tightening them up will actually draw them into the plastic a little bit, but you can put the bolt in. And looking up underneath, you can go ahead and then tighten the bolts down. Alright, and you'll see in the lock position. Can't move. Simply push the lever down and 
you can then slide the handle back. Well, great. Move it forward, it automatically locks back in place again. And there you have the painless grate. Do not open the grate while you are moving. Make sure you're stopped. The last thing you want to do is hit something while the grate is open.